Hi there, my name is Beth Brown and I'm the seed growth specialist for Bayer for Southern Alberta. And today I'm here to talk to you about pea leaf weevils. We are sitting in a pea crop and this is typically where you're gonna look for that pea leaf weevil damage, either peas or faba beans. That's where they tend to hang out. What they're looking for is to lay their eggs in that pea or faba bean field in order for their larvae to chew on the nitrogen fixation down below and ultimately rob you of your yield. So some telltale signs of pea leaf weevils. First and foremost is that notched look on the side of the leaf. Basically, it looks like you've taken a hole punch to the side of the leaf, and that is exactly what it looks like when the adults start feeding. Again, that tells us that the adults are in the field and that they've laid their eggs and that the larvae are down below chewing on the roots, which we want to avoid. People always ask me, you know, if I've never grown peas before, or I haven't grown peas in a number of years, should I still be worried? And the answer is always yes. Just because you didn't grow peas last year doesn't mean that your neighbor down the road didn't grow peas last year and therefore have pea leaf weevils in the area. The larvae can chew for up to six weeks down in those roots, so they can cause quite a bit of damage. However, if we can get that plant past the six node stage, we are in the clear. Our threshold for pea leaf weevil is three out of 10 plants with notches on the newest or the top leaf. So when we go into that field, people are always gonna notice notches on the lower leaves of the plant and think, hey, I've hit my, my threshold level. When in fact you haven't. We are no longer concerned with notches on the bottom leaves. We are only concerned with notches on the top leaf or the newest growing point of that leaf. People always ask me when we walk into a field, I see notches, you know, what can I do? And the real answer to that question is not much. Uh, when it comes to pea leaf weevil, we need to plan ahead of the season for what those pressures are gonna look like because once we see those notches in that field, the pea leaf weevil has already laid their eggs, the eggs have turned into larvae, and the larvae are down below chewing in your roots. So by the time that we see those notches, it's actually too late, there's nothing that can be done. We could go in with a foliar insecticide spray. We like to call that revenge spraying because we're not actually taking care of the real problem, which is the larvae chewing in the roots down below. We're just taking care of the adults up above. Yes, it'll take care of that flush. However, it will not take care of the flush that will come in next week that will continue to chew on your plants and lay more eggs. Time and time again, research has shown that using an insecticide seed treatment is our best way to combat against pea leaf weevil. So some products that you can use is Trilex Evergol and Evergol Energy, which are our pulse fungicides, as well as our insecticide stress shield. Springtime conditions play a really big part in what we can expect to see for pressure that year. If we have a um, early dry hot spring, it's going to promote the pea leaf weevil to come out of overwintering a lot earlier and beat us to the field, be ready to chew by the time that we planted our seed. If you are noticing pea leaf weevil in your peas or fabas, I would highly recommend reaching out to your Bayer rep or to your local seed growth specialist, as we do have a number of seed growth specialists in each province.